Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So we know what has happened today and uh, it is important that we talk about those things actually which are taking place. Wabio Kavinga, thank you so much. What is your take on the issue? This is what I'll talk about actually on the uh, coming back to politics of uh, the former president, Dr. Edgar Chagua Lungu. That's what I'll talk about. I'll also talk about the reactions which I have seen from, uh, from some politicians and uh, also uh, I mean, uh, try to bring out my mind on the issue of uh, Valungos coming back to uh, to active politics, yes. So, uh, 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 Matthews, you are saying the volume is too low? Okay, maybe if I can raise my voice a bit. So I was saying, I will talk about the coming back of uh, President, the former President, President Edgar Chagwalungu to active politics and um, yes, I also talk about the comments which I've seen or reactions which I've seen from senior leaders and uh, maybe also from the general public concerning his coming back to politics and uh, I will have to say my mind over the same and also, and also try to give advice where I can give advice. So uh, Aubrey, you are saying the volume is too low. Are you are you sure even this time around the volume is too low? How is the volume now? Is the volume okay? So uh, Joe, Joe, but John Joe, you are saying volume is too low, vacations. Serious, volume is too low, too low, too low, too low. What should we do now? Because me, I don't even know. I don't even know where now to place. Let me see. Ah, what the paper? We can push the volume. How is the volume now? Loud and clear. My friend Christabel is saying loud and clear. How is America? Christabel Parata. Good to see you this evening. Volume is okay now. Volume is okay. Thank you so much. So now. We go straight into actually the business for tonight. Watila uh, because in Sofui Kalamba, you know, every village uh, will know that in Sofna Ifwa, and they will be talking about the, the elephant, the dead elephant. So now we all know that Walungu has come back to active politics. A thing that actually was a thing. Thank you so much, Ba Eric Chisanga. Thank you for joining. Ba Joseph Kazila. Thank Kazila. Thank you for joining. So now, if we, everyone was aware that Walungu intended to come back, come back to active politics. And uh, yes, yes, he has come back to politics. What has necessitated his coming back to politics? We all know. We all know because he, he said it. Thank you, Wanfunga Christabel Natota. He said it actually at the memorial service for the late president, Mr. Michael Sata, that he feels that his political party, which he actually he led at, at some time, is uh, being threatened that uh, uh, it may be destroyed. That was his, his uh, actually assertions. And, uh, and uh, now he said a lot of things. He said a lot of things in his address, address and uh, I read or listened to every word that Walungu uttered at uh, uh, where, they, where I was this, uh, this afternoon. So now, 
maybe before I, I talk about my 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 observation and my mind over is coming back to politics let me first uh, talk about people which have reacted who have reacted to the coming back of uh, the former president president Edgar Chagwalungu to active politics to active politics because Balungu is not like me Balungu is not like me he's a big person he's a big person else I'm saying oh and uh, you know from the 24th of October we have been actually entertained politically by what has been transpiring we saw a convention where Mr. Miles Sampa was elected as a, as president it was yesterday when I was talking about Mr. Miles Sampa and uh, how he was dribbled actually in 2014 and you know the weather in Zambia political weather the political atmosphere the political temperature was charged from the 24th of October because of that convention whatever was discussed on Facebook on social media actually was uh, in relation to uh, Mr. Maus, Maus Samba you know that is what was actually being uh, what was making rounds on social media and this morning it was the same it was the issue of Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Maus Samba and uh, the PF you know we saw some celebrations in some circles and we saw people complaining from other circles and uh, you know it was a bit confusing some camps were happy because Mao Sampa had taken over the PF presidency in some sections people were were very 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 sad because uh, they thought well, I mean PF uh, had gone to a person they didn't want to actually be at the helm of the party yes now Nisho Akaramba wa excellence, tamu kwe tama bandos, kula ndi kata tukwe tama bandos Not be brief Hmm Kula nda, so that ngakuda wa kwe tama bandos, mamishita Yes, so now When President Lungu announced, the former president announced that he has come back to active politics People have reacted <laughs> People have reacted And uh, the reaction is normal the reaction is very normal you know for people to react one of those people who have reacted to the coming back to politics of the former president president lungu is uh dr nevas mumba dr nevas mumba said something in relation in relation to to, to president lungu's coming back he said big mistake so according to mr mumba the coming back of President Lungu to active politics is a very big mistake. That is what Mr. Mumba posted. He's not happy. That's what I can say. He's not happy that President Lungu, former President Lungu, has come back to politics. And again, I saw some reactions to, to my brother, our National Youth Chairman in UPND, Mr. Gilbert uh, Liswaniso, who was saying, uh, welcome back to the game. Is well coming back, Mr. Lungu, to active politics. So you can see that even our National Youth Chairman is aware, is aware that the former president actually has come back to active politics. Not only uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Riswaniso Gilbert commented on the coming back of. Uh, Mr. Lungo to active politics. Even my beloved Secretary General, uh, Mr. Imenda, Honorable Imenda, he has also posted something. Actually, he said, uh, game on. Game on. Meaning the game now is on. And he's a politician. My, my boss, Mr. Imenda, he's a politician. So what he meant, what I got from what he said is that Politics now is on because of the coming back of one person to active politics. Politics is on. That is what my boss, Mr. Imenda, has posted. And again, I went to check on his hope. I discovered that he has posted again some other things and he's saying 
Iminga lato now, we have to change. Iminga lato, we will change now. Meaning the tactics, the political tactics that we employed or which we were undertaking has to change because of the coming back to politics of one, one person and this is the former head of state. I'm all right. Thank you so much, you are Steve. Consider. Thank you so much for you people who have joined. It's a pleasure to, I mean, uh, actually be with you this evening so that we can talk about these things. So the, the coming of President Edgar Lungu, former President Edgar Lungu, to active politics is not a small thing. It is not a small thing. Just like it was when Mr. N Mr. Mao Sampa took over the leadership of PF. You know, it was actually something that really, really blew the minds of everyone who listened to it. And you know, yes, some people were excited. Thank you so much. My good brother, Mr. Kelvin Mukuka, Bahati Constituents, Mans Mansa. Thank you for joining. So the coming back of the former president to active politics, has changed the political landscape in Zambia. If you don't want to believe that, I'm good, Bamukos. Thank you. If you don't want to believe that, you can see by the reactions. You can see by the reactions that the coming back of President Ed, former President, President Edgar Chakwalungu, it's not a small thing. It's a big thing for as long as you are in politics, for as long as you belong to a certain political party, or if you don't belong to any political party, but you, you really know, you really know what happens in politics. You can agree with me that he's coming back to politics who will change the political narrative at the moment, from today up to the time we'll be voting in 20, 2026. The political landscape, the political atmosphere, the political temperature will not be the same. And this is the reason why I can agree with Honorable Imenda that Imingalato has to change. That is very true because of the coming back to politics of one person, of one person. Why? The reason is simple. This man held the highest office of the land. He is a former head of state. Now, this is what I want to tell you. This is what I want to tell you. That, maybe before I say this, let me tell you that some of the things which I said some three, four months ago, even if some people were laughing at me, has actually started happening. I said, I said, those people who are not taking politics seriously should take politics seriously because my prediction was by the year 2024, April, things will not be the same politically. Some of you people who, who follow me, you can recall that I used those words. I said, you people are not taking politics seriously. Politics will not be the way it is. This is what I was saying some three, four months ago. Politics will not be the same by next year, 2024, April. That was my prediction. I said by April, even the people who are seen today to be useless in politics, some will be seen to be important because they will need those voices. They will need those voices. And that time has come even before the date of my prediction. Some voices, some people were neglected, some, I mean, organizations, structures which are, were seen to be neglected, will be needed just because of the coming back to politics of, of one person. And it has happened today. And no one can say, Kawele, Lungu, we hammered you. We are going to hammer him again. Yes, people can say that. 
people can say that but I want to tell you what no Zambian has ever told you I know what Zambians talk about but on this matter politically people don't talk about this it is very true in Zambia it is very true in Zambia that a former ruling political party has never come back to power that is 100 percent true no former ruling party has ever come back to power that is very true but there is something which we miss which we don't we don't talk about number one there has never been from the time zambia got independence there has never been a former president who has stood after losing election get that thing right from me don't miss that point you know my, my goodness the, the good part about me is that i try to be as honest as possible to people and just because i'm too open i'm too 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 honest some people don't like me there is no former ruling party which has bounced back to power in zambia but you need to put this in your mind that there is no former president who after losing power has ever stood again on that former ruling party in an election <laughs> that thing has never happened that thing has never happened what has happened that is that unip lost power to mmd and unip never came back to power it is true but the truth is that after unip lost power to mmd Kaunda never stood again after losing power on UNIP. So you cannot judge if the, just because UNIP participated in the election after losing power, when other people apart from Kaunda were the ones who were standing. So if those people who were standing on UNIP after Kaunda lost power, you cannot say that Kaunda never came back to power because you don't know what was going to happen if Kaunda was going to be allowed to stand. To stand on UNIP. So it is a different scenario if UNIP never came back to power. Because it is other people like Tirienji and some other man who stood in 2021 who stood on unit it was not kenneth kaunda it was not kenneth kaunda because if it was kenneth, kenneth kaunda who stood it was going to be a different ball game so if a former, former, Landa, former, Landa, former, Landa, former ruling party Muzambia cannot win an election yes it cannot win an election if a former president is not allowed to stand because we have never experienced a situation where a former head of state stands that's why if we probably will be to be casual to say no former ruling party has ever come back to power that is not being truthful to ourselves because because it is not other people that may stand on pf when mmd lost power mmd participated in the, some elections and mmd has failed to come back to power and ever smumba my 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 father dr never smumba has stood has stood on you mmd and he has never won election and yes mmd is dying because Vanessa Smumba was not president of Zambia, he was just vice president. So if Vanessa Smumba has failed to bounce back to power using a former polit a polit uh, former ruling party, it does not mean that if Rupia Banda stood 
on MMD, if Lupia Banda stood on MMD, the results was going to be the same as when he never smoked stands on MMD. The scenario could be different. The scenario could be different. Yes, may his soul rest in peace. So these are things that politicians fail to talk about. And you sometimes we mislead the leaders. We mislead the leaders because we are giving an example about something which happened, which may be if it was another person, the results could be different. So you people are comfortable to say, let Rungu come. We are going to beat him the way we are beating him. There is no former head of state who has stood, who has stood on his former ruling party. So it has never happened in Zambia. If Mr. Lungu will stand on PF in 2026, or if Mr. Lungu will stand on a different political party, the scenario will be different. The scenario will be different. Hate me. You can hate me for saying the truth. Hate me for saying, but I'm just opening your minds. I'm just opening your minds because no one has ever told Zambians about this thing to say a former head of state in Zambia has never stood in an election. So if it was others who were standing after that former uh, ruling party lost elections, don't think it might be the, the results could be the same. Thank you so much, Barame. Thank you so much. Yes, when it comes to politics, I'm a genius. When it comes to politics, I am a genius because I study Zambian politics. I study Zambian politics. Not through universities. Very observant. The only thing I do from the age of 20 years up to now, the only thing I study is politics, nothing else. Nothing else. So don't be fooled. My people in UPN, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Like I said, like I said, don't underlet Mr. Mao's Samba. I will repeat it again. Do not underlet Mr. Lungu. Do not underlet Mr. Lungu because it has never happened before. It has never happened before. A former head of state standing in an election. It has never happened. But a former ruling political party has stood and they have, lo they have been losing. So those two scenarios are very different. To me, those two scenarios are two different. Two different. That's why I'm happy with the post which my boss, Mr. I mean, Honorable Imenda said where I said, Imingalato will change now. Imingalato has to change. Imingalato has to change, especially political Imingalato. Why should Imingalato change? I am now trying to agree with my boss, Mr. Imenda. Why is it that Imingalato has to change? It is because there is no former head of state who has stood after losing power. We have never experienced that. If Mr. Lungu would stand, it would be the first time for the former head of state to stand. And we have never witnessed, we have never witnessed the outcome. So the outcome, if Mr. Lungu will stand, the outcome will be different from the scenarios where former political parties have been participating in elections. So haters hate me, but when you hate me, you are hating yourself. Because that's why I say, the winning of UPND, let me tell you this, the winning of UPND in 2026, if they won't bring me closer and get some, uh, some of the advices from me, 
And again, I repeat, if you PND leaders, those in government, if they will not bring me closer, if they will not bring me closer, so that I can advise them on two things, if they fail to do two things, if they fail to do two things, 2031, we are exiting government. Like me, hate me, but I'm telling you the truth. You will need me by you PND for a certain advice. If you want to be there after 2031, you will need my advice. You will need my, my advice, yes. You will need my advice. Mm -hmm. So ban Sidi Nichola, ban suspend Sidi Nichola. Which one? Let me ban you, but Sidi Nichola, you are gone. I confirm you cannot insult me on my page. So what, what will make 2026 a different a different ball game, political ball game, is this. The people that helped in changing government, the people that helped in changing government are the youths. The youths played, played a key role in changing government. In 2021. So, those youths, those youths who played the key role to change government in 2021 will be joined by another group of youths. Get this point, it's very important. Don't miss this point. Get this point. Those people who were 17 years in 2021, they didn't vote because they were below the threshold of those that can vote in an election. So what necessitated change for what made people to actually think of changing government, especially the youths who were there, those who were 18, 19, 20, up to 35. What made them think of changing government may be different from what those who were 17 years may think about in 2026. So those who were 17 who didn't vote in 2021, in 2026 they will be 22 years old and they will vote for the first time. Those who were 16 years in 2021 and they didn't vote, in 2026 they will be 21 years old and they are going to vote. Those who were 15 years in 2021 who couldn't vote in 2026 they will be 20 years and they are going to vote our children who were 14 years in 2021 who didn't vote because of their age in 2026 they will be 19 years old and they are going to vote whether 
you like it or not, these people will vote. Those people who were 13 years old in 2021, who didn't vote because of age, who didn't know even about gassing, who gassed them, they didn't know. They didn't know about the thievery, the feeling of PF, they didn't know. Those who were 13 years in 2021 will be 18 years in 2026, and they are going to vote. They are going to vote. And that's why, even us in the ruling party, we need to be careful about these people. We need to be careful about these age groups of five, five, I don't know how you will call it, so we have the, those that will be 22, they will vote for the first time, those that will be 21, they will vote for the first time, those that will be 20 will, will vote for the first time, those that will be 19 will vote for the first time, and those that will be 18 will vote for the first time. The reasons which will make these people vote for you, PND, or any other political party will be different from the reasons that made those youths of those days in 2021 to vote for you, PND, or vote for another political, political party. what is going to happen so <laughs> I think you will understand what, what are the questions what are the questions questions Kuno because we are about to close to understand Let me talk about this as, I, as I'm about to close. It's very much important. Get this. As we are thinking in UPND, the PF guys are also thinking. The PF guys are also thinking. Critically, the way we are thinking critically, the PF guys are thinking. And that's why in his address, Mr. Lungu said, he's not even interested in standing. He's not even interested in standing. In 2026, but he said he, 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 he is ready to support any opposition leader that the Zambian people will think of voting. That is also a bit dangerous. And I talked about this thing, though some people called me some names which I won't mention. It's okay, it's all right. I said when people attacked me, I said, I said, I said, this is what I said. I said, let us just be ready to face Walungu in an election. We are 1,400 people watching this video. 1,400 watching. About 400, but we were 1,800. I said, if we let us concentrate on preparing ourselves to face Lungu or Mr. Lungu in an election, oh no, Mr. Lungu may not stand. He may support someone else. I, if you follow me, I think you can remember those words. I said, let us be ready and let us prepare to face Warungu in an election. Or let us face, let us prepare to face someone in an election where Mr. Lungu will be the campaign manager for that person. I mentioned that. 
Because Mr. Lungu standing in an election in 2026 is as good as him being a campaign manager for any other political leader, any other opposition political leader. So, so, Abalomba, if you be, oh no, hmm, I think our prophet Elijah, you've just joined. We said, Barungu standing in 2026. If the man is blocked, but he becomes campaign manager for any political party, the weight is just the same as him standing. So we need to prepare for him to stand or for another person to stand where Mr. Barungu will be a campaign manager. As simple as that. As simple as that. Some other people are saying frustrated. I think we have learned one or two things. So we can let me also drink my my chiwantu. You can ask questions. But he's saying he's, he's here with immunity. Yes, he has immunity. He has it. What is the question? Someone was asking to say Walungu. Is Walungu having a, his, his immunity? Yes, he has his immunity. Yes. Can only be removed in parliament. Thank you, Bamwewa Inoki. You are saying I mentioned that. Which part do you belong to? Me, I'm UPND. Me, I'm 100% UPND. 100%. You be ended. Hundred percent. What? Imo imo mawa ba mu you be ended. Imo mawa na inem you be ended. Why don't you like to be told the truth? Why don't you like to be told the truth? A Any time your colleague actually mo. Imo mwa watu tuka ba imo ba 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 UPND ba praise sing na ba ufimu. We don't even see you in by elections. You just praise here, praise, 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 praise. You don't even we don't even know if you have a voter's card. But you be insulting people who toil every day for the party, and you doubt their allegiance. You doubt their allegiance. We will mouth some allow ECL to take over. Lungu is clever also, he's a human being. But Mao Sampa, even if he takes over PF, get this from me. If Alungu forms another political party, those people who believe in him will leave this thing of Mr. Mao Sampa. And in a way, of that new political party on a ballot paper who will be the same as Mr. Lungu standing on PF. So not to, don't 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 focus your energy on me on finishing PF. Because PF is is nothing. PF and Lungu are two different entities. Two different entities. So don't think if we destroy PF or if PF is destroyed, then Nishilungu, the, I mean, his, his powers has been reduced. No. If he formed a political party, it is the same as him standing on PF. Or if Mr. Lungu will not stand, if he's going to support Mr. Membe, the way, if Mr. Lungu will be a campaign manager, it will be as good as Valungu standing. Those are facts. Don't like it, but that is the truth. That is so. Don't hate people who try to open up your minds. 
Just because you support blindly, it's a China mpofu. Three hundred and ninety to support a China mpofu. China mpofu, you are the one you are. You need to think in ways like if this thing happens or if this thing doesn't happen. What I already said to you, who people who joined Palace, I said there is no former head of state who has ever stood in an election. So if former political, former ruling parties have been losing elections, it is because maybe their former head of state who lost an election never stood in the preceding elections. So you cannot say, ah, ah, takuwa ruling, former ruling party, ya, pita po, yon se yala pona, yala pona, ye, 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 bati haba pona, bantu bambi, ale samku imakana po, not you, yon wafumine po, it has never happened in Zambia. If Falungu will stand in 2026, and if he's going to lose it, it will be the first time in the history of Zambia for the former head of state to stand again and lose, because it has never happened. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure seeing you this evening. So we have a lot to do as UPND. We have a lot to do, and I agree with my boss, the Secretary General. He means that to us to change. He means that to us to change. But John, you are saying you are saying the truth. In 2020, 2015, when Lupia Banda supported Lungu. The situation changed and Lung won, yes. Thank you so much, Vajon Suari. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you. So, Yashiraku Shinje Mingalato, yes. Why? I forgot this point. Why? Because if I'm UPND, we have two things to do. One, we need to govern the country and please the people as government. If from UPND, we have two things which will make us win again in 2026. Number one, among those two things, is that we are governing. We are governing and we should govern in such a way that our voters should be happy to vote for us again. Secondly, we need to organize the political party. We need, as we are governing, as we are delivering, as we are increasing, increasing CDF, as we are making a Kabwe, I mean, Lusaka and Dola, dual carriage way, as government, we also need to see how the party becomes attractive because it is not the government new dawn that will stand in in 2026 it's upnd new dawn will not be on the ballot so we will concentrate on two things but our colleagues in the opposition will just be working on strengthening their political party. So our next event they will concentrate on selling their political party if we have two things. Ukutulo lesheko kubombele chalo ukutulo lesheko political party. So we need to balance We need to balance. If we get to a to Chimoko, but uh -uh, let us focus on the part and forget about government. Kuchwa isa isanga muli muamone. Kuchwa isa isanga muli muamone. If we say let us forget about the governance or good governance, let us concentrate on just building the party UPND. Kuchwa isa isanga muli muamone. 
Or if we say, let us neglect about the party. Let us just work as a, as a government. People will vote for us because we, we will deliver as government. Forgetting about the party. Kutuwa isa isanga muli muamone. So meaning, if we, because we have two things. We need to do well as a political party and we need to do well as a government. Yes. If we to because we need to work on two things. Government and the party. And our four friends, they are not in the government, so they won't be working on uh, governance issues. They will just concentrate on a political party. That's why we need to be extra careful. We need to be very, very careful. Because we may focus on one thing and forget about the other thing. And it may be catastrophic, and that is not our wish, some of us. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.